It is a sad day here at Nesson Middle. As some of you may or may not know, we lost dear old Mrs. Felix. We later found her, but she was dead. Dead set on leaving us for a better place. Better place, charter school. Wait, I'm confused. Is she dead? Yes, she's dead to me. She was in charge of the yearbook, and she didn't finish it before she left. Very unprofessional. Well, remember when she gave notice, you did call her a dirty traitor. I later apologized. Told her to burn in the depths of hell and broke off her car antenna. Anyway, the final, final date to turn the yearbook into the publishers is tomorrow, or we don't get one at all. Mm, looks like no yearbook. Tears. There will be a yearbook this year. We sold lots of ads to businesses, and if we cancel it, we're going to have to pay that money back. Which we cannot do, as that money has already been spent. Oh, that doesn't seem wise. <laughs> but now you're a financial wizard? What about your idea to invest in that ostrich racetrack? That is a real sport. I sent you a link. Okay. I'm going to need that link. Uh, we really need to find someone to take over the yearbook. I'll do it. I was yearbook chair all four years of high school. And of then I course you were a yearbook nerd. Thank you, Jenny. Uh, you got the job. As yearbook chair, I will need a team, a task force, if you will. Anyone? The volunteer will receive Mrs. Felix's $25 bonus. $25? You can't even buy a bag of weed. Oh, screw it, weed. You can't even buy a bag of weed. The volunteer will also receive a free Botox treatment. Carol Glazer, dermatology. In. Great, Meredith. Welcome aboard. Actually, I can do this alone. Jenny, two minds are better than one. Except for the Menendez brothers. Eric really needed Lyle to formulate that plan. Kim, write this down. Gotta go out to the truck. <laughs> Screw it. Somebody wing me a nougat bar. I'll look the other way. This is stealing. Man, these people are animals. Yes. The educational system in urban settings is every time. teacher's exam. What? There must be some mistake. I asked my magic eight ball if I was going to pass, and it said to ask again later. All right, Kim, you may be the best student teacher we've ever had here, and your bulletin board design skills are unrivaled. So, I am going to help you pass that exam. But you're so busy. I want to. There's a retest tomorrow at 7 a.m. Now, if you are willing to dig in, I will cancel my Friday night plans and stay here with you all night. Oh, I don't want you to cancel your plans. I won't then. I'll see you after I give my roommate Ron a washing perm. All night long. All night long. <laughs> Whoa. You guys look kind of good. Who died? Uh, Pilaf's great uncle. Oh, sorry. It's over. Taking the coaches clubbing with my fallen cousins. It's a tradition. We honor the fallen by hiring a limousine and paying a 600% markup on wine and spirits. So is uh, Janet going to be there? I hope her going out best is clean. Actually, we're giving each other some space this weekend. Oh, really? Really. So you're just going to the club on the brow for some strange... What? No, I don't know. We're just hanging with some friends, you know? Throw back some drinks at Bungalow in honor of great Uncle Pilaf. What? You guys are going to Bungalow? What are you doing there? That's a nice place. Like... And I would go there in nice places. Well, I know nice places. Uh, uh, yeah, like Planet Hollywood, opening night, Fresno. 
I don't know if you guys peered out of the window recently. There's a limo. It's got balloons coming out of the sunroof. It's big enough to hold an enormous check. I think I finally won the publisher's clearinghouse million dollar claim seats. Uh, Carl, that's, that's, uh, our limo. Oh, man. Sorry. Hey, Meredith. How's the yearbook coming? Oh, so great. Ginny just sent me out to get more computer chips. Oh, delegating. Nice management. Boss Nero. Oh. All right, well, our coach's coach awaits. Wait, 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 wait. What about me? I want to go to Bungalow with Pilaf's rich cousins and no Janet. Come on, Ginny's going to let you leave? After a few attempts of me trying to help her, she will. I mean, I'm going to Bungalow. Pilaf's great uncle would have wanted it that way. Actually, my uncle considered women his social lessers. Okay, well, just wait in the limo. Give me two minutes. Okay. <laughs> Like nothing's wrong. Yeah, I'm fine. Great, so my theory checks out. Actually, I'm not. My boyfriend just called us back up with me. Oh my god. You have a boyfriend and I don't? We were on again and then we were off again. And then a few months ago, I was just so fed up and so I ended it. And then he begs me to take it back. And he makes all these promises. And so I did and it was great. And then I thought he was the one and uh, out of the blue, he just called me and broke up with me. I can't believe it. Oh no. Boyfriend. And I'm single. Like, what world are we living in? I mean, that sucks. He's a jerk. Yeah. So how's the yearbook looking? Oh, I can't even think about the yearbook now. Mm -hmm. But you'll totally be able to in like two minutes, right? Because there's so much riding on this. Kids' memories, my line-free face. <laughs> this need three minutes. Five, ten, tops. Whoa. Okay, now we're gonna just go. We have been over every subject, and I cannot find one weakness. You're going to be out from under Ginny's thumb and running your own classroom in no time. My own classroom? Well... Guess who thinks you're ready for a practice test? Guess. I do! <laughs> you failed. You failed really bad. What happened? You knew this material. I guess I buckled under pressure. I guess I'm going to be a student teacher forever. give everyone in uh, Black History Club afros, or you know what? I should really just give everyone in the yearbook afros. So just stop me. Feel free to take over at any time if this isn't your vibe. So. You know, I've been through breakups, Jenny, so I know exactly what you mean. We are going to write him a letter that you're never going to send, pen to paper, validate your stupid feelings. Dear Ian, I am so glad to be done with you because now I can focus on finishing this yearbook. Are you rich? If so, I have a super hot friend for you. There you go. Okay, and I can get on back to it. Hallelujah. Man, have we overcome. Oh, we have. Right. Because you hate him, and you have to get that hate out of your heart. You have to destroy something that he loves. What have you got? Feel good, right? I guess so. Yeah, you go, girl! Spice World! <laughs> Queen for day! Okay, here's how you get back in. You finish that yearbook. Because if you don't finish that yearbook, he wins. I mean, it's just that obvious. You know, I have been racking my brain, and I realize the problem is your brain. You sound just like my pediatrician. No, I realize that when it's just you and me, studying in a friendly environment, you have total command of the material. But when the pressure's on, your brain freezes. So what your brain needs is a little antifreeze. I drank some of that as a kid. It was delicious. Kim! Wow, I see why Jenny does that. Let me help you. But how do we fix my head? I know a thing or two about mental blocks. I've been stuck on page seven of my novel for 23 years. You mark my words. You're gonna pass that test, and Detective Carl Gaines is gonna find out who the real Frisco Slasher is. Hint, it's not who you think. You'd be surprised to know that Carl tried to make coleslaw with his very shredder. That doesn't surprise me at all. Turned out pretty good. That does surprise me. So many surprises. Hey, let's keep it moving, okay? Uh, this is a little tougher than I thought, but not nearly as bad as when the shoemaker kid laminated his scrotum. I'll be back. Thank you. Great, let's get back to business. Buckle down and do this. Right. Oh, sorry, I have to get this. This is so important. It's my priest, so. Hello, Joel. Hey, hey, the limo is on its way. This club is nuts. There's so many strobe lights. I've seen two people have seizures. 
one person had a seizure, and then the ambulance came, and the lights made the other person have a seizure. Awesome. And Caleb's cousin spent a brain on a two-foot bottle of vodka. Come on, give us a shot. Who's that? Is that Mr. Pilaf? Oh, no, it's just some girl's birthday. Her friends got her 21 shots. We're just helping her drink them. Come on. Wow, <laughs> sounds like that girl's really all over your... I'll see you soon. Penis. Welcome to my relaxation dojo. Which is just an old storage room, soothing music, and a tapestry I threw over the third row seat of my brother's Suburban. Cool. What are we doing here? I'm going to try and help you get over your fear of taking tests by using vocal visualization. You visualize what you want, you say it out loud. So I just say everything I think? Yep, take it away. Okay. I am picturing a map. Oh, it's my hometown. Yes. There's the gazebo. And who could forget the David and murder house? Um, Don't want to go there. Maybe just a peek. Oh, hey, Mr. Daverman. I thought you were condemned to death row. Sure. I'll take a tour of your cellar. Oh, boy. Nice. Um, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. But, uh, <laughs> I'm definitely coming back. Just go. I heard you on the phone. I know you don't want to be here. Maybe. I know you just pretended to care about me because you want me to finish the yearbook. I get it. And where do we land on the Botox of it all? You can have it. My whole life just fell apart, and I have to start all over again, and I honestly have no idea how to do that. So I'm just going to do the yearbook, because at least that's one thing I know how to do. Look, it's going to be hard at first, but you just go. We both know you were never going to help. Just go. Uh, okay, I'm going to jump in here. Let's focus on a more positive, less terrifying scenario. Think about something you want to achieve. Like, it's your first day as a teacher in front of your own classroom. Nothing but your wits and a teacher's edition. I'm not sure. Okay, let me show you. It's a late summer afternoon. I walk into the kitchen, and my cereal's not stale because my roommate Ron remembered to put the top on the Stay Fresh tub. And the landline rings, and it's stamped for my alma mater. I have been chosen to give the commencement speech. And in the back of the auditorium, and sunglasses so wide they'll break your heart, stands Carla. And we stroll toward the quad, laughing and talking about her new beau who just got smushed by a garbage truck. Hey, thanks for sure to Virginia. Why? Because you have nothing better to do and you live here? Yeah, that's it. Come on, she's having a tough day. You like Jimmy? Okay. Fixed. That's the worst shred of blood I've seen since Miss Patchell's class hamster climbed in. Well, I appreciate your strong work ethic. Tried to fix the jersey, too, but no such luck. So what happened between you and this dude? Dude? No. This jersey's mine. Cool. He obviously didn't deserve you. Uh, are we gonna talk about that? Talk about what? Why, why are you back? I went to the club for, like, one second, but I was so obviously the hottest one there. I just felt like I was taking attention away from everyone, so... Well, there's a lot of work here to do, so did you come back to just stand there, or are you actually gonna help? Oh, I'm gonna help. Good. You. I feel like someone's choking me and not in a fun way. Is there anything to cover the rest of me? Oh, I feel like Mrs. Doubtfire. I feel like a whore. You look amazing! Okay, go get him, Tiger. Mm. Wait, what about the yearbook? Oh, Carl will get over it. Or you could do it. Uh, come on, I've been around tons of yearbook nerds, and you are just as smart as them. Do you really think I can do it? Didn't you ever secretly wish that you were one of us yearbook nerds? Nope, not for a minute. Okay. Okay. Good luck, hot stuff. Girls up, to shout. I back line this, and it is not safe for me to drive. Kim, what is going on? Hard to say. I can't see. Kim! Sorry. Every time you mentioned me in a classroom without Jenny, it made me want to climb out a window. Fool me once, Kim. But I'm scared. What if I'm not a good teacher? If I don't pass the test, then I'll never have to leave Jenny, and we'll never find out. I want to show you something. 
Yeah, I missed the limo. But do you know what or where a Photoshop is or may be located? Uh, isn't that above your pay grade? We got kicked out. He left, got so amped, he started dancing on our table. He fell through, glass everywhere. Every time I hear Sir Nick's a lot, I get really angry, but in a fun way. Holler. So we brought the party here. What do you say we ditch your book and finish this foot of vodka? What do you say we ditch that vodka and finish the yearbook? Wait a minute. You look different. Where are your boobs? This is it. The Hall of Principles. Nixon's finest. I thought it was a myth. Curtis Boone, spearhead of the Get Up and Go Young Readers program. Al Teriyaki Windsor introduced the free lunches for impoverished students and Hawaiians. Rune Mayweather brought back corporal punishment and resigned in disgrace. And there she is, my mentor and my predecessor, Martha Pyle. Rune? Man or woman? I can't tell from the name or the picture. Kim, stay with me, please. You know, I started as an English teacher. That's all I ever wanted to be. But Martha, she saw a lot more in me. And she pushed me. It smells kind of bad in here. I was offered the job of principal three times before I accepted. Why? Because I was scared. Y you were? But taking that leap was the best thing I ever did. Oh, you know what? I think I finally get it. Hey, let's go pass that test. Yeah. Wow. These are really good. The sketches of the chewy chews. The sketches under chewy chew. Hmm. <laughs> Especially a sketch of a box of chewy chews. I draw what I like. Did he strike out with all those twenty-one year olds? <sighs> Wouldn't you like that? Actually, yeah, I struck out pretty hard. Oh my god. Okay, yearbook nerd. <laughs> Whatever, dumb Josh. I, I, I really, really want to. I just, I shouldn't because I'm still kind of with Janet. I'm sorry. Jeez. Shut up. Congratulations, Kim, you passed. I did? Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, I guess it's not real, then. I'm gonna have to move on. Well, I just checked. Now, there's a small waiting list for a teacher's position, but something should be opening up in about four years. So, can I stay on as a student teacher under Ginny until then? We would be honored to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> What's going on here? Yearbook, son! Woo! <laughs> Weird stuff happens here on the weekend. Just came in, everybody circle up. All right. Ooh. 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 My yearbook? What the? But mostly Miss Davis. Oh, now she's Spike Lee. Here we go. What? what? Okay, those are thumbnails. <laughs> Maybe it gets better. Uh-oh, it's all Meredith. Oh, I like it. Uh, more Meredith. Yeah. She looks pretty there. What? <laughs> We're going to have to redo this. So, nailed it, right.